Hello guys. Welcome to your YouTube channel NB Infotech. In this video, we will talk about antivirus introduction, test on malware, and pros and cons. In the first section, we will discuss the features and settings of the antivirus. In the second section, we will perform an antivirus test on different malware samples. First test, after disabling real-time protection, second test, after enabling real-time protection, and third test is, behavioral analysis test. And in the last section, we will talk about the pros and cons of the antivirus, on the basis of test performed and features provided. So, do not skip the video, and watch till the end. Subscribe our channel NB Infotech. Nano Antivirus is Russian antivirus software, developed by Nano Security Limited. The software has free and paid versions. Nano Antivirus 3 offers you detection of all types of malware, real-time file protection, and real-time internet protection. Nano Antivirus is having a simple user interface. On its main interface, it has five main options, first is action, second is settings, third is system guard, fourth is quarantine, and fifth is information. You can directly download this antivirus from its official site, with the help of the link provided in the description. Let's start with the actions. Here you can perform, complete system scan, express system scan, and antivirus update. With the task pane, a custom scan option is available, which means you can select or configure any folder or files to scan. Nano Antivirus has provided multiple customizable options, so that you can choose a custom plan as per your requirement. Nano Antivirus has provided many more customization options with common settings, appearance settings, quarantine settings, network settings, trusted zone settings, etc. Some highlighted settings such as removable media scan, antivirus theme, sound notification after threat detection, submission of quarantined objected for further analysis, and exception for files, folder, applications, and website. System Guard allows you to enable or disable real time file protection and real time internet protection. Whereas in the quarantine section, you will find quarantined items, backup storage, and false positive detections. Here you can add suspicious files in quarantine, because after every update antivirus automatically scan all the quarantined items, and keeps only infected files, and the rest files restored to their location. The information section shows you, all the information about antivirus, license management, etc. Let us update our antivirus with the latest definitions and signatures so that we can start with our antivirus tests against the latest malware. Let's disable the nano antivirus real-time protection, so that we can copy malware samples to the desktop.
We have a total of 300 malware samples collection. In this collection, we have different types of files collected such as document, application, exe files, elf files, android, apk files, dll files, zip archives, excel files, etc. We are performing the first test, with disabled real-time protection. As per the result, after the first scan with disabled real-time protection, 137 threats and two riskwares items are detected by our antivirus. Out of 137 detected threats, 94 threats are neutralized. Let's check in the malware sample folder, that how many files are actually removed or quarantined by our antivirus program. As you can see, out of 300 malware samples, 206 are still available in the folder, and 94 malware samples are removed after detection. Let's perform second scan, after enabling real-time protection. After the second scan on the remaining 206 malware samples, 45 new threats are detected. Let's go to the malware sample folder to check the actual status of the remaining files. Here in the malware sample folder, 179 files are still left behind after the second scan. Let's perform a third test of behavioral analysis on the remaining executable files, from the malware sample folder. During the behavioral analysis test, another 72 malware files are identified, and removed by antivirus. 
So finally, after three tests, 107 files are remaining in the folder, out of 300 malware samples. Now it's time to check that, the remaining files are malicious or not, by uploading them to the virustotal.com. Let's check the pros and cons of the nano antivirus. If you like this video, then give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel NB Infotech, and press the bell icon to receive the notification, whenever we upload a new video. In the comment, suggest to us more antivirus tests that you want. Till the time take care. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.